Hey guys, it's Sarah from My Swear I'm Stitching. Today is Friday, July 26th, and this is a floss tube 103. If you don't know what floss tube is, it's where we talk about cross stitch. I do other things, but it is strictly cross stitch today. And it's a lot of cross stitch today. You guys, I got so much done. But um, if you're new, hi, thanks for stopping by. If you're not new, hey, thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. Um, I'm all discombobulated. It's been a weird few mental days for me weird few days mentally for me um you know, i do life at the end because i know people don't like life stuff sometimes i just want the straight up cross stitch but we got back from our vacation and i fell into a funk and i couldn't figure out why and then i realized it's because it's the first time in about 12 years we've come back from our vacation to the outer banks and um there was no amber here there was no my baby girl my baby dog my beagle we still, I mean, we have Daisy. <laughs> it was good to see her. <laughs> but, you know, Amber was my, my girl. And to not have her come home and bark, yell at me for abandoning her at a kennel for a year. Oh, a week, sorry. Was, uh, apparently harder than I thought it was going to be. But, you know, you get through it. Okay, so, on to the cross stitch. Guys, I finished so many things. One, two, three, four, five. I finished eight things since I last saw you. So for this month for fandom stitching, or yeah, this month, um, was to work on finishing things. And so far, well, not so far, I'm done. I, there's nothing else I can finish that's close to, it has to be at least 50% done for you to finish it in the month. I have nothing like that left. <laughs> but, so my total for the month would be like 11 finishes. That's pretty awesome and I'm very excited. I'm very thirsty. Sorry. So let's jump into the things I finished. This is my stack of everything I have to show you guys. Oh no, I did so much stuff. Okay, so finishes. What's in this bag? I took all my labels off. <laughs> I don't know what's in what. Okay, so this is my Autumn Squirrel. It was from the Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine, Fall 2021, by Barbara Anna Designs. I did mine on 25 Count Lugana in Sandstone from Kaylee of Kaylee Ten Stitch of the Sewing Shop Inc. in Canada. And I used DMC and Night Stalker's Calling in Ello for the dress. And then when I was trying to finish it, I couldn't find one of my colors, I think 919. So I just grabbed a Kaylee overdyed and used that instead. So the blue of the dress is the Night Stalker's Calling Hello, and like the variegated mushrooms and the darker orangey color in the dress and her little cheek. That's Kaylee's overdyed thread. She turned out so cute. She's so pretty. I love the way the mushrooms look and of course her dress. Overdyes are so fun, you guys. I'm shaky. Can you see my fabric shaking? Oh. But yeah. Oh, I did it um, three over two because it's a 25 count and I didn't want to do it one over one and have a tiny squirrel. So I went with three. Oh my gosh. Am I the only one who can't work three threads? Back in the day when I first started stitching, when I was like eight, I did everything on 14 count with three strands. But now I work three strands and I cannot tell you how many knots I got. Oh my God. I don't know what my problem was. So many knots. Look how pretty her dress is. And those over dyed. And those mushrooms. Oh, so good. And I love this fabric because it's just slightly modeled like the little patches. It's so cute. And she fit on this piece so perfectly. Don't ask me how I'm going to finish any of this stuff because I um, fully finished it because I, got, I have no idea when that's going to happen. <laughs> and then this one is, oh, this is one I was not sure I was actually going to finish. It wasn't my last finish. The scroll was my last finish because I didn't think that I was 50% done on her and I was. So I whipped her out. But um, this is one that I didn't think 
it was 50% done, but it's a lot of stitching. But somehow I, I got it done and, and I love it so much. This is Fluff the Dragon from Naomi Designs. This is my black and white burnout. Boring. And I did mine on Alien from the Moon, 36 count linen from XJU Designs. And I did it two over two because even though it's a 36 count, it's a really open look. Like, do you see how open that 36 count is? Really open. <gasps> look at him. Look at my fluff. And I used more over dyed thread from Kaylee because I had a project I wanted to do a whale. Um, and I wanted a brownie, gray, bluey uh, color, and I couldn't find an over dyed. And then when I found an over dyed, I found it and ordered it right after Kaylee had sent me threads she had dyed for me. So I used, she did uh, long repeats and short repeats, and this was the long repeat dye. So you can see like there's larger chunks of brown and then larger chunks of gray. I absolutely love this so much. M Miriam Marumi Designs, oh, I love her stuff. She, it's so unique and so personal to her culture and heritage and just fun to stitch. Like, I thought that border was going to be a nightmare, but I thoroughly enjoyed doing that border. Look at his, it's, I love this design because from far away, it looks like he's like smiling. But if you pay attention, you'll notice the dragon is two heads. Those are two heads and that's the fire. Isn't this fabric fun? I purposely started way over here because I wanted to have a splotch of this yellow. I kind of wish I'd maybe orientate it this way and had more yellow, but then there's all this empty space here. So I wanted, this was like the most yellowy blue splotchy section of the fabric. And I'm not gonna have, I might be able to fit, if I have like a little short, I might, I'll keep this section when I cut it off and I might be able to use it for like a, a small, maybe a quirky Quaker or something smaller. Cause I'm a hoarder. If I can save a little bit of fabric, I'm going to save a little bit of fabric. <laughs> it's like when I was a hardcore knitter and I saved every little ball that was left over. And I'm like, I use it for something. And I did. I used it usually for stripy socks or like baby hats. And now I'm a hoarder of fabric. The scraps this bigger than like two inches, I keep it. I, I'm a hoarder. I can't throw it away. It's so pretty. Look at him. I have to decide what my next Marumi pattern is going to be. I don't think I own any more. But there's definitely going to be, oh, I love the giraffe. Now I think about it, I might, be, I might buy the giraffe. I don't know. She has so many good designs. I'm not a big fan of the newest Halloween. Um, is it just cross stitch? The Halloween one. I'm not a big fan, but I do love her owl. She has an an owl pattern in there and I do love that owl so maybe I buy the magazine for the owl oh I don't know I have other things to work on so it's not a rush but I would like to do another one of her patterns because they're fabulous I can't stop showing it because I love it so much I love the way that gray and brown goes with those blues and those yellows and he's just so cute okay just so cute her patterns are and it looks it looks like so much stitching, but it just, it flies and there's a lot of open space. So, oh gosh, you guys, seriously, just go buy her patterns. They're fabulous. And what else did I finish? I think my Santa's in this bag. Nope, I was wrong. My Santa is not in this bag. I usually take out my thread and put it away. This is, I bobbinate. I'm a bobbinator. Sometimes I use floss drops. Not very often. Did I finish this? Maybe I didn't finish this. Is this not a finish? It's not a finish. That's why I saw that in there. I was like, why is this in here? I thought this was a finish. Ignore that. Go back and forget I said anything. I'll show that later. This one is done. Okay. This is Even Busy Bees from Twin Peak Primitives. It's from, uh, Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher 2021 Spring. As you'll see by my doodles, I did not do the words, the outline, the beads, or the crowns. I just wanted that really pretty flower, those flowers in that base. I thought about doing the butterfly, but I don't wanna. 
I didn't want it, so I didn't. And I did mine on 13 Count Lugana in Shimmer from Bestitch Me. And I did it two over two with DMC, Classic Color Works, and Night Stalker's Calling. I can't remember what is what. Oh, well, nothing is green. I remember that because it still bothers me that the nothing is green. Why is the nothing green, you guys? As a hardcore never-ending story fan, I don't understand why the nothing is green. And then the classic color works brandy pair, so it's the base. And changes I made, what I do other than that, what I didn't stitch. I'm shaky because I'm nervous. Like, this is my first loss tube. So on this, the vase, the brown of the vase went all the way up, and I didn't like that. So I changed it to be the green going all the way up, like the stems. And then these little something wasn't symmetrical on the pattern like those weren't symmetrical something was off here i circled them so i fixed them to make it more symmetrical but there it is and i have a nice chunk of fabric left for something else look at those pretty colors oh i love these these flowers what am I going to do with it, you guys? I don't know. <laughs> Look, I, feel, ugh. I went on vacation and I got bit up everywhere and I can't just let things be. Ugh, a bug bear in my neck. I have a pick. I'm gross, I know. I'm sorry. Oh, there was also... Something with these bottoms like there wasn't like this one didn't have a stitch on the bottom or something so i just evened it out but there it is very pretty more finishes this is my Autumn Owl etching. I don't have the cover picture from Heart and Hand. It's from the Punchy Little Primitives 2020 magazine. I used 32 count, some sort of scrap linen. I don't know, it was in my scrap pile. And I used DMC. Yeah, I'll show you. Because it, it didn't fit in the Q-snap I had, so I had to sew on some fabric <laughs> to make it fit in the Q-snap. So I will just cut that off when I do whatever I'm going to do with it. Look how cute they are. So the DMC is the gray. The owls are wood trail in shaded sands from General Arts. And the orange is just some leftover owl forest embroidery I had left from the whale kit. Aren't they cute? This was so fast and so fun. I love them. They'll probably, who am I kidding? They'll probably be a mini pillow for my doble for the fall. I'm so boring. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. I love owls. And then, I told you I had a lot of finishes. I think there's two in this bag. There are two in this bag. This is my, oh, my Sailor's Delight from Teresa Kogut. This is from Punching the Parent of Stitcher Magazine, summer 2023. I didn't do the weird guy. <laughs> I didn't do the red border. I just did the boat, ship, and the whale. And I didn't write down what the whale is. Oh, I used the called for DMC and the called for um, the red. The blue and the whale are some fancy floss, but I can't remember. And I wish I could because that whale. Oh, this bell is so good, you guys. I found After the Harvest, um, 18 Count Ada from Stitch Me, and I did it one over one. Look at this blue, pretty little cute piece. Look at, oh, I just folded it right in the middle of the ship. Yeah, I didn't iron. I never iron. But um, my excuse today is that my best friend passed her phlebotomy course and is now a phlebotomist. So I'm having my college kid go pick up some celebratory treats. Uh, croissants from a local bakery, Starbucks, and Taco Bell, some ta celebratory tacos. So my kid's gone, and as soon as she left, I brought you guys out. <laughs> so, 
so I can get this done. But look at that wheel. He's perfect. Look at him. This is about as patriotic a piece as I get. Um, yeah, there's a lot of issues with the country. So sometimes I don't feel like celebrating and being super patriotic, but I also want to change the bad things with my country. So I want to be patriotic, you know, how it goes. The, hmm, these times, you people, you people, you people. But look at my whale, let's focus on him instead. Look how cute he is, oh my God. Originally, I was just going to do the whale. I was like, you know what? I do kind of like the ship. And I am glad I did the ship. I really like the ship. I think the ship turned out excellent. And I love that whale. And this fabric is so perfect. Oh, I loved stitching that. Loved it. And there's my Santa. I finished my 1995 Prairie Schooler Santa. I used the Call for DMC. I think I might have subbed some of it. Just like grab the random like blue or green I thought would work. And it's on, I want to say that's 16 count Ada. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 16 count Ada. There he is holding the world. He's so cute. I love Santas. And then, so now I have my four Santas done. I should be able to, this is, out of everything I finished, this might be the only thing I actually fully finish anytime in the near future because I actually have something to finish it in and actually know what I want to do with them. But there is on another piece with this other Santa. There he is, there's my Santa. There's supposed to be like vines on his little robe, but I don't want to do them. I don't, I don't mind backstitching, but I just like, you know what? I don't think it's needed and I don't want to do it. <laughs> Mainly because I put all the floss away and I was like, I'm not digging the floss out just to do some stupid little backstitching I don't think is needed. It looks almost mad. Santa can't be happy all the time. Let's see. How does this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my You Are Enough. It was for my Mental Health May piece from. Did I have it written down? Popcorn Patterns on Etsy. It's an 18 count Ada from Kaylee. And I used to use DMC thread, one over one. And it's supposed to say, like right there on like her, under her stomach, you are enough. But every time I tried to put it in there, it looked scrunched and I didn't like it. So I'm just not gonna, not gonna do it. I wish I hadn't listened to my kid. I always listen to my kid because she's artsy and I was like, should I do it? this way or this way and she said this way and i wish i had done it this way now because it looks almost like that line's decapitating those flowers <laughs> but you know what i have all of this left to do something on this way but oh, those flowers and that blue does blend in a little bit with the blue of the fabric but there's enough greenery i think it pops enough and my back stitching is so not good. Like, look at her janky thumb, you guys. I really should have thought it out when I did picked my fabric and not gone with an Ada because the back stitching is, the, her body outline is all over the place. So I had to stab through a lot. That's annoying. Is that, what is that? Is that? Oh, it's part, of, it's part of the back stitching. It's like her armpit or something. Or her, no, her clavicle, I think. Oh, yeah, it's in that. God, this fabric. So when I, when I frame her, I want to have, like, a screen, like, about that much with the purple showing and then something like that. And where that line is, I'll cut it off. Don't know what I'll do with her. But it turned out beautifully. Okay, this is this my last finish? How many was that? Let's see, I did Autumn Owl, Cellular Light, Santa, You Are Enough, Even Busy Bees, Fluff, Autumn. If yep, this is my last finish. Whew. Oh, I'm just finished. This is my Easter hair from Barbara Anna Designs from the Spring 2021 Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine. It's on 32 Count Lugana and Sandbar from the Stitch Me. First off, look how pretty that fabric is, you guys. Oh, it's like a cloud. 
Um, I did it two over one over two. Yeah. And I used the call, some of the call for DMC and then a bunch of uh, fancy stuff. Look how cute she is. I know that she kind of blends in with the blue, but on camera and from far away. But like when I look at her, she pops right out to me. I can see her perfectly. <laughs> so I used uh, Weeks Dye Works. I used Forbidden Fiber Co., Classic Color Works, DMC, Night Stalker's Calling, Kaylee Tent Stitch. I used a bit of everything from my stash. I love the way the blue and the pinks go together above her and her pretty dress. And I love how variegated she is in the white and panties. I know for certain that is a Kaylee thread. And I do believe her dress is Weeks Dye Works Tiger Eye. Do you guys hear my dog groan? I think she's sick of me talking. And I didn't do such a great job. I should have started this a little bit further down. So I had a little bit more left over of the fabric up top, but I still have plenty. I still have a lot. So cute. I didn't think I'd enjoy animals and dresses as much as I do, but apparently I really like them. You never know. You think you have a certain style, and then you're thumbing through magazines, and you're like, ooh, what is that? I like that. All right. Let's take a breath. That's all my finishes. All eight of them <laughs> since last time I saw you. That's so many finishes. And then I've worked on so many things. I will get to that one last. Let's see. What about the one I was going to show you? So I did, I worked on, uh, I don't know what of these were used for like, um, prompts in fandom stitching. I'm sure that's why there's so many. I'm sure they were prompts. Yeah. I think this one was like, has clothes. I need to trim this back. <laughs> this is trick or treat from Barbara Anna designs, more animals and outfits from punch needle primitive stitcher magazine, 2020 fall. This is 32 count linen in Neptune from the Stitch Me. DMC 2 over 2. So I work on the hat. It's going to be a black hat. But right now it's very creepy looking. But yeah, I worked on her hat. Isn't she cute? She's pretty cute. Some of these things I have a lot to show, but some of these things don't have a lot to show. Like it's the hat because the prompt was like said close and I always go for the lowest 100 stitches on the weeklies. <coughs> Excuse me. And this one is, uh, yeah, this was another uh, prompt for fandom. It was, uh, I think something with birds. Yeah, birds. It's Spring Sunshine from Jan Hicks Design, or Jan Hicks Creates. This is from Punch Needle Primitive 2024 Spring. And with this one, I couldn't find a lot of my threads and I didn't feel like hunting them down. So I just did a bunch of subbing. I'll probably continue to do just a bunch of subbing of plain old DMC. Um, it is on 32 count linen and scroll from Bestitch Me. Two over two, like I said, just DMCs I'm grabbing from my stash. Like you can tell the birds and the bee, birds and the bees, birds and the butterfly, those are much darker than called for. I like them. Oh, this is why people <laughs> trim their stuff. Also, I'm an idiot, you guys. Look how much, look at, look where I started. That's not gonna be that big. I, I was gonna take a, I wasted a bunch of fabric, I think. But anyways, there it is. All I got was the birds and the little part of the butterfly. That's all I've added to it. Oh, there we go, now I can see. And I can't remember what DMC color that is, but it's more of a purpley red. It looks a pinky red. Yep. That's all I got on that one. I'm not thoroughly enjoying this stitch. I don't hate it, so I'm going to finish it. But it's not something I'm drawn to. Probably because I keep having trouble finding the threads for it. And it pisses me off. I worked on a project that was like, I think, I think the prompt was like, 
Oh, I made a mistake. Or it might have been a mistake. So I pulled out Black at Sky. Because as much as I love it, as much as I can't wait to have it finished, I don't like stitching on it. Because I should have... Where's my floss tube? Should have done one over one. And I should have gone through and picked out my own threads. Because there's so much green. There's so much, so much green. And the greens are so, like, you can't even see that it says something in that. I mean, it's that picture, but. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that. And this is on 18 count. Is this Stitch Me? In. An unnamed Gray. That I got off a Friday Night Fight. A while ago, which I again need look at all this extra fabric I need to trim. <laughs> but what did I work on? Oh, I just worked on the letters in that box. Like, okay, you can see the in memory of it pops out more, but like the two little doodads on top of that, those greens are super similar. I just I'm really bored of that, like using the same green over and over and over again. I did do the sun in a variegated black. Cause it wasn't hugely variegated it gave it a little bit of personality and i didn't do the eyes because i thought they were weird so yeah that's all i got on that can you even tell there's green in the yeah you can tell there's green up there in the um graveyard uh grave Ugh, angel god damn it words so yeah this one i just chip away at but i really wish i hadn't done two threads. It looks kind of messy to me. Oh well. I am too far in. I am not starting over. And then for, I had to work, one of the prompts was variegated thread. So I pulled out my, oh, she's still in the Q-snap. Get out of Q-snap. My gosh, my dog is like so groany today. This is like the worst fabric ever. It is a mystery 32 count linen from not forbidden fiber. They're good. Fangirl fiber. It's like, can you hear that? It's a not good fabric. But this is a full coverage, so I don't need good fabric. It's easy to stitch on. It is my. Star Spangled Shoal. It's from Punk Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine 2022. It's that guy right there. And yes, he's a punched needle pattern, but my friend Kaylee made it into a cross stitch pattern for me with the permission of the designer, Michelle L. Palmer. And this was the way I was talking about. I wanted fab, uh, specialty thread for. And that, Kaylee dyed me some, and then but I had found a thread I wanted to use right before I got her threads. Let me show you. I had found Fisherman's Wharf from the General Art. And I thought that's perfect. That's what I'm using. So then I started stitching <clears throat> with the DNC, and this is what I got. And this thread is a DMC, is it called Coriolis? Uh, the very good stuff, it's that. I thought that they were different enough to not be a problem when the whale, there's a lot of me going back and forth. So some of it is under his, under the whale, around his tail, under his mouth, in her skein, apparently it was more blue. Mine has a lot of brown in it. Let's see. So when I tried to use my Fisherman's Wharf on the whale, oh my gosh, <laughs> damn it. You can see, like, I started his mouth right there. It was blending in too much. Like, that's literally just like a line of his mouth, like a, the opening of his mouth. It blended in too much. So, 
thankfully Kaylee had sent me that thread and I hadn't used these short color changes. See how it's much darker? That's what I'm using for my well after all. So I got some of the well done and then for the ver because you can't really see the variegation in the thread, I went over and put some of that in for the challenge. But I started his mouth just to make sure there was enough contrast. And there he is. See, his little mouth pops out so much better. So thank God for Kaylee. Kaylee to the rescue. So and now I have a bunch of Fisherman's Wharf for something. And all this beautiful dye for my big fat whale. Well. So that was exciting. I was like, oh no, it blends in so much. And I was like, Kaylee's thread. I'm gonna try Kaylee's thread. That's perfect. And if I had went with Kaylee's thread to begin with, I would have gone with the short color repeats anyways. So using the long one for my fluff the dragon and having the short one in the stash. It worked out perfectly. I'll just put my puppy snap back in there. Just to keep things slightly organized. Oh my, I need a minder. Pop that on the, there. Try to keep stuff organized for myself. All right, and then I worked on Halloween and Hopper and Hello. Uh, I think the prompt was like something that reminds you of childhood and um, I'm currently working on the block that is the haunted house and when I was growing up my dad always had like a mini haunted houses in our garage leading up to the house for Halloween because Halloween was his favorite holiday was he's not dead <laughs> Halloween is his favorite holiday and I was actually actively stitching on this until um, a little bit ago so that's why it's got a thread in it. It's on 18 count to die for fabric in Ashen Tan. Ashen Tan? Ashen Gray? Oh my gosh, Ashen something. Hmm, I don't know. But it doesn't matter because you can't go get it. Oh wait, here's my thing. Ashen Tan. Because to die for fabric is not dying this year. Hopefully they come back next year because this fabric is fan freaking tastic. Doing one over one. Like I said, an 80 count we called for a DMC. See, so I'm just working on the house. Not a lot to do. If I did decide to take a break from the house and pop in the little snake. <laughs> but he's still in the Houston app because I would like to get back to it. And then, what is that? Ah, oh, on vacation, I had a lot of downtime at night. And then um, a couple of rainy days. So I had some time. So I'm all caught up on my self-imposed witchy, sti witchy stitcher, cryptid and supernatural sows. I was going for one creature a month and I had not done a creature for last month. So I did last month and this month's creatures and even worked a little bit on the borders. So like, I feel caught up. Which one is this? This is my supernatural, which I don't think I have a picture of. Okay. I don't. This, would you stitch your supernatural Sal? It's blurry, I know, but everyone knows what it looks like, right? And I'm doing mine on 32 count linen and after the harvest from Bestitch Me. Using Anchor Black and DMC 2 over 2. And I am quote unquote caught up for myself. I'm just so happy I got a chunk of that border done. But for June and July, I did Changeling and Unicorn. I thought I packed all the thread I needed. Changeling is supposed to have two colors of like that red in the bassinet thing. But I just had one, so I'm like, it doesn't matter. I just used it for everything on there. Oh yes, this is Changeling and the Unicorn. And a bunch of um, border. I did a bunch of border. Huzzah! Next month, I'm not sure 
which creature I'm going to do. I'm not even going to be like, I think I'll do this creature. Because I'll just see what... What calls to me? And then for cryptid... I do have a picture of that. It is on 32 count Lugana and pink chocolate from Bestitchering. Two over two with all DMC. Well, I got a chunk of border done. Not as much border, cause you know, I came home. <laughs> like I really kind of wish I'd done a little bit more down on that side, but oh well. But for June and July, I did the infilled horror and the Jersey devil. It's so cute. I love the moons. I don't like stitching the moons, but I love the moon. So there we go. I'm all quote unquote caught up. Kind of would like to do the chubacabra next. I just said I wasn't going to decide. Let's see what called to me or what prompts there were. But I would kind of like to do the chubacabra. And then today. I've been working on, well, yesterday, because yesterday was um, my uh, day to work on, in my rotation was the day to work on this, and then um, I'm doing Dash Go on fandom stitching for the Olympics. It's like Whip Go, it's like Bingo, it's a board, it's got 36 spots on it, one free space, and you put your projects in it, and I am happy to say that I did not have enough whips to fin fit in all the boxes, so I had to double up on my whips. Except for one, except for Nefertiri, my head hate because I just, I couldn't put her on there twice. <laughs> Luckily, I, um, there wasn't room for her. So, yeah, that worked out well. But um, the first straw for today was actually the mermaid. And I was like, oh, perfect. She's still in the cute snap and everything. So it's my mermaid of Salem Bay from the Primitive Hair. I'm not doing the word. And yes, I am disappointed that this picture, look how dark those variegateds are. And I don't know when did this come out? 2020. Only 2020. I don't know if their dye lots have changed or if this picture is just darker than it needs to be, but look how light that tail is compared to in the picture. It's like that that mermaid looks all like look at that tail it's like moody and this one and that's not moody i've gone too far i'm not stopping i'm gonna finish her out and i will probably love her but i am disappointed that she's not going to be as moody looking that's a little sad look at that tail look at that the gray in that tail that dark gray that's not dark gray that's disappointing. That's disappointing, Greg. But hopefully she'll be fine. Hopefully I'll love her. Even the blue, like look at the blue of the tail. Look almost black. So if you're gonna do the mermaid Salem Bay, pick your own threads. If you want that moody looking mermaid, pick your own threads. But I'm using the call for everything, the 30 Camp Pirates Linen from Primitive Hair, all the uh, General Arts, the DMC. I believe I even have the bead packet. I don't have my thing, but yeah, I even have the bead packet. She is my big fancy lady for the summer because I have one for each season following Janet Jabber's um, lead she had um she was doing her mirabilia mirabilia seasonal ladies queens so i was like Psh. i had like four kitted up i needed to do that fit perfectly it not fit perfectly the fit into the seasons is well enough for me <sighs> sorry my dog's very distracted today and that's it that's all my stitching oh my that's so much stitching I'm going to keep her out because I'm going to go back and stitch on her some more when I watch some more Floss Tube. Because after like weeks of not watching Floss Tube because I was playing my Pathfinder game. And then Vacation. And then Mental Blahness. I hadn't been... Um, 
I haven't been watching my sewing or floss tubes. So I'm almost all caught up. Yay for binging. <laughs> Yay for not sleeping. And I did find a new to me floss tuber that I started watching. Her name is Bianca from She Period B Period Stitching. I really enjoy her. I started watching her. And then, like I said, I've just been playing a lot of catch up. Let's see, life. Went to Pennsylvania, saw my family. That was nice. Went to North Carolina with my husband's family. That was nice. Should be getting my tattoo tomorrow. We'll see. I now have a cut on my back that I hope is not where the tattoo is going to be placed because I'm not sure a little tattoo over a little wound. I don't know. It's a long time since I've got a tattoo and had to worry about it. Well, a long time. I just got this. I, I don't know. It's a little wound. I don't know if the placement of it is where the tattoo is going to go. We'll find out tomorrow. Um, hey, I got called for jury duty <laughs> again. It's like the second time in like a year or two. I don't mind jury duty. I've only ever done jury duty once, and it was a murder trial. So I got, I don't want to say I got lucky. It's a murder trial, but it wasn't a boring trial. So my only experience with jury duty, I need a haircut. Look at this ratty, nasty, dead hair. My only experience with jury duty so far has been interesting. So I got called for jury duty, and I'm just on the list between the months of August and November to be called in. But I obviously had to put that um, I'm going on a European cruise with my family, courtesy of my parents, in October. So I was like, well, I can't do it in October. So if you need me, need me soon. Excuse me. So yeah, that's it for life. Potential of jury duty trip coming up in October. My kid is going back to college next month. And oh my God, she is so freaking busy. Her job is the guardian. She's an editor in chief. Something at the guardian, which is their paper. And then she has a, so she has to go there. She goes to school in Wright States, three hours away. A little bit less. She has <coughs> orientation for two days. And then she has orientation for one day for her second job that she just is going to start this year. It's working for the program. Um, I think it's called Raise. It's uh, where you basically are a coach slash mentor for incoming students on the spectrum. And then she has that one day. And then she has a leadership retreat because she was nominated for the Emerging Leadership award last year i talked about it a few videos ago and um so because of that she's invited to a retreat for two or three days it all happens luckily in the same week but there's literally like a day in between each event and i'm like am i gonna have to get a hotel and go hang out and with you for a week because you'll have nowhere to stay. She's like, I'll sleep in the car. I'm like, you're not sleeping in the car or in the college campus. <laughs> so I gotta work that out. I'm just trying to talk to housing into getting into her apartment early. Um, Cause she lives three hours away and she has all these orientations for her work job and the leadership thing. The leadership retreat provides housing. But it's right in the middle of the other orientations. So I'm like, I'm not driving you <laughs> coming home, driving you back. <laughs> coming home, driving you back, coming home, and then literally like a week later, driving you back to your moving date. So she's trying to work something out with housing that move in early. We'll see. It's a whole <laughs> college. It's so stressful for me. Like water off her back. She's like, yeah, figure something out. It'll work out. And I'm like, <laughs> I need, I need, I need to be able to know what's going on. I need to write up my calendar. I need to, I need, I need to, it's, I, I don't have a lot of strong Virgo traits, but that's like one of them. I need to know, I need to be organized, I need to plan. You know what I mean? Mm. That's it for life. That's all I got for you guys. Um, I may be back in a week, maybe back in two weeks. I'm not sure. Let me see if, because like I said, summer's busy, so I thought I might be every two weeks. <laughs> 
<laughs> Two weeks from now is actually one of our orientations. Uh, so, <laughs> I'll be back next week, just in case I can't come back. Following week, at least it won't be like a month between videos. All right, I'm really going to go now. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for putting up with me. Thanks for listening to all my ramblings and coming back and leaving me comments and being so genuinely kind. Um, I appreciate this community so much. I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate it. And the friendships I've made have been wonderful and I hope to make more. And I hope, I was gonna say, I hope you have a good summer, but not everyone's where I'm at. So I don't know how to end this. Have a good life. Bye guys. <laughs>